Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make videos for NBA DFS content, prize fix content, all that good stuff. Been playing DFS professionally for a year for years now, looking to help you guys in the uh, prop markets. That's what we're going to be doing here. As always, before we get into the picks, we do recap how we did the night before, and it was an absolutely treacherous day today. On the picks in the video, we went two and two. Both Scoot and Wendell Carr Jr. both hit, uh, both hooked. Um, Porzingis hit, Franz hit. So, and then my main picks today, we got cooked, cooked. I got hooked on like five picks today. Hooked, Mikhail hooked. Um, Wendell Carr Jr. hooked. Scoot hooked. Um, what else hooked? Um, Mikhail, like I said, hooked. Claxon was close. I think that's it. Um, but yeah, hooked on like four or five props today. Just absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into the picks. As always, if you're looking for more DFS content, prize fix content, I'll have my Discord link down below. But let's get into the picks. All right, we're going to be going to the Knicks for two props here. And the first one's going to be Dante PR, and the next one's going to be Miles McBride assists at two and a half. And these two correlate nicely with each other. And let me explain why I like this pick. Most people will think it's a bad matchup here for Dante DiVincenzo, but it's actually a phenomenal matchup. Miami are god-awful at giving up uh, points to opposing, you know, three-point volume, etc. Dante DiVincenzo is a guy that's going to go absolutely out there and chuck the ball. As you can see, 16 three-point attempts, 12, 12, 20, 13. It's a really, really good spot here going up against Miami. They've been dreadful. Um at giving up three-point shooting. In competitive games, he is going to play over 40 minutes. He got into foul trouble here, still played over four, still played 40, played 49 here. We still have Julius Randle and OG and Anobi out, obviously, here. Um, and the nice thing here is Miles McBride does correlate with him. Um, so this is juiced on the over. Um, unfortunately, his points got ripped off the board like right when they added it at 15 and a half, which was unfortunate, but I feel like his points line should be like 16 and a half. In my opinion, his rebounds is three and a half, which does make some sense. Um, so um, it's still a good prop. I, I would have preferred points at 15 and a half. It, that was an absolute slam dunk, but 19 and a half points and rebounds will do. Um, I still feel like it's just too low. Um, juiced on the over as well. So you have a good spot here. You have a juiced on the over. Um, <clears throat> you have Randall, OG obviously still out. He's going to play big, big minutes. Um, only concern here is pace of this game might be a little ass. Both teams do play very, very slowly, but it's just too low. I don't know why we're getting a discount here. Um, Dante DiVincenzo on the year is averaging 18 and a half PR per, per game. And he did not have this role for over half the year. Over half the year, his role was really, really bad. Um, so he's found himself into a much, much larger role of late, um, with the injuries on this team. Um, and the next pick, like I said, is going to be Miles McBride. We're going to be taking his assists at two and a half. And once again, people might think this is a bad matchup, but Miami do struggle at giving up assists to opposing guards. So it's actually a pretty solid spot here for Miles McBride. Now, if we take a look at his potentials over the last five games, um, you can see here, Miles McBride has 8.2 potential assists over his last five games. If we are getting 8.2 potential assists here for Miles McBride tomorrow, we are absolutely fist pumping over the moon, no matter the result of this hits or misses. We are fist pumping. Um, he just needs his teammates to not go legit 20% from the field if we're going to get 8.2 potential assists for Miles McBride tomorrow. Um, now, I think... Um, these can be worth, if you guys find a pair that you like, can be worth up to a unit, in my opinion, for your pairs. I'll give you guys a prop I do like. I have more picks posted in Discord, but I'll give you guys a prop that I do like with these if you do want to pair those. Um, so there's going to be two props. I'm sure you guys know a lot of people that like other picks that you could pair with. Now, if you don't, there's props I really like on this board, but I'm just absolutely scared and piss scared by blowout. Like... I didn't even post them in my Discord because I'm just absolutely scared by them. But like Denny assists, four and a half, uh, Middleton points, it's what is it, 17 and a half, like etc. Um, just piss scared by blowout. But I thought I'd mention those. Do what you want with your money. I am not gonna tell you what to do. I didn't take them. I am not taking them as of right now. We will see. But I am gonna give you guys a pair for these, and it's gonna be Rudy Gobert points at 13 and a half. 
And the reason I like this prop is this is juiced on the over. All these picks are juiced on the over. Is Minnesota um, is going up against Houston here. Um, not a terrible spot here for Rudy Gobert. Um, Houston is without Alfred and Sangoon, obviously. So he is going to be going up against a small ball team in Houston playing Jabari Smith at the five. Also, he could get a good dose of Jock Landell here um, at the five as well. So basically his whole time is going to be going up against mostly Jabari Smith, possibly some Jock Landell, and mostly the small ball Houston team, which is actually not too bad of a spot for him. If we go to his uh, points here, uh, or if we go to matchup-wise, Houston, they are not great at giving up points to opposing centers as well. We still have Carl Anthony Towns out here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. For you last five bros, he's been doing pretty well in his last four, hitting this three out of four times. Um, but um, pace of this game should not be great. Both teams do play slow as well. But um, yeah, Rudy Gobert, 13 and a half points there is going to be the third pick. And uh, I think that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys have a great night tonight and I will talk to y'all in the next video.